he, he's nice. He treats me nice. He doesn't hit. I'm doesn't, polite. He's polite. He doesn't hit me. I you always know. remember to say please and thank you. Thank you. No, he doesn't hit me. I anything. always say please and thank you. Right? And he never hit me. He never hit people. I wouldn't anyhow. No, he's, he's nice, you know. And he's a nice gentleman. He doesn't, you know, beat me up or anything like that. I wouldn't that. do that anyway. I know, John, but, you know, it's... And that's how I trust him. Is he, you know, he... Really nice to me. I told my mother about him, and she said, that's nice. What did she say? She said, that's nice. How pretty looks. <laughs> How pretty looks. And I don't ask John for money. She don't ask for money like Loopy used to do. Loopy used to do. Yeah, right. Loopy's like, into this. So I mean, money. And this only. Linda's not like that. And she gambles, you know, with, with those, um... What's the scratch offs? Scratch offs, you know, and then she. Which half the time you don't win no how. I know, then she's broken. She doesn't have enough money to buy a, buy a milkshake or, you know. I'm much better boyfriend than Richard. Yeah, Richard, yes. He was the one who beat me up. That's no good. No? You don't need him. I have you now, so. Right. <laughs> That's a, that reminds me of a song. Dee, dee, that reminds me of a song years ago. Dee, 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 stand by your man and let him know you need him. And let him know you love him and need him. Yeah, remember that song. You drugged me up. I never knew. Walked all the way over here. How far do you live? I live three miles away. I just walk from my house. I lift all the lights on. Every time I come home, all the lights are off. I put your cigarettes and coffee. You take your medicine. Yeah. What's happening? She's starting to follow me around everywhere, and I can't get. If I even go out for a cigarette when she's here, she's like constantly there. Beth, come here, please. But you gotta just try to be a little bit. Okay. I just you know, took two Motrin and yeah, I told yeah. him I'll calm down. I apologize. Yeah. <coughs> he's gonna be in prison for the rest of his life for what he's done. He's raped my daughter. He's raped my mother. He's raped my my nieces. Anybody that came to my house, he raped. And I didn't know it because he had me drugged up. I don't think that's true. I think it's true. No. All right. I'm very angry. <clears throat> and okay. I, I am going to calm down. That's why I said I'm going to breathe. Go back to the judge and have my case reopened. Her, her diagnosis is that she's um, bipolar, which is a person who has really high highs and really low lows. Often people who are in that state become psychotic and, you know, don't see what reality is. Because I don't think my daughter is my daughter. I think she's my sister. That's what I think. It's just dealing with what she makes up and what's real and what's not. She's there, she's there, and when she's not, she's completely not. He's in Austria, I want him back. I want to go to Klagenburg, Austria, and get him. He's my husband. I spent $3,000 to help 9-11, to help the firemen and all their families, to help, because I know who did it. The guy up at Sunoco gas station. He did it? Yep. Him and his brother did it. And he's still up there. His <laughs> I'm brother, sorry, Delay. <laughs> and his brother was sent back to Iraq <sighs> with $10 million. Dream you always will. Here together. It's one of the hardest things about doing this work is that too many times I know which way they're gonna go. 
and I don't like seeing it. And keep looking in the strangest places for love. around us and of course they give us unconditional love and they teach us so much about how we should behave as humans. Mm -hmm. uh, the but doctor, I don't know, I don't feel right. Did you eat anything? No, I just came back for lunch and I went to come get him to see something Ozzie, this is Emmy Lou. Hi. This is Hi. Ozzie. Hi. Are you Roy. singing too? I'm a singer, yeah. Welcome, you can hear everybody else shot except for me. <laughs> I did Brian Kelly. Oh! She's probably like thin as I am. <laughs> oh, and she has a bathroom. She goes into the shower, right? Glass shower, walks in. Like crystal glass, like you see through it. And then like, she walks in and she goes, I haven't used a shower since I moved in here yet. But um, and it, it's a big like black little overhead shower. I don't know, because it sprinkles down a little bit. I don't know. She goes, but I don't, too many knobs for me to figure out. I don't know how to use the damn thing. <laughs> Screaming's bullshit, and then she goes, she gets nice, and she goes, bug shit. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's what they're planning on doing next, because they don't like something, somebody, either somebody or something around here. You know? Sean. Do I look okay, or do I look like Jenny Miller's smile lines? She had some Jackie Cooper smile lines. Jenny Miller. Oh, the suffix. Give the suffix a piece. Give it to her and to give it to them. Right? I think I would, Malcolm, you know? Maybe not like some blockage of tar floating through the air. And uh, now I put the blockage. Marie, Marie. Marie is touched by the angels. She is incredibly sweet. Jeez, I wonder why, you know? I think that she is a multiple personality, but that she also is is delusional. Oh, I didn't think I understand how you mean it. No, that's not how he means it. Wait a minute, he means... Uh, I'm not... Yes, yeah. I'm a born again Christian, Malcolm. She will talk as, you know, Sherry Kreisberg is, you know, oh, you know, she's in my head, she's trying to come out my ears, she's, you know, banging on my skull. I hate you, Sherry. I'd like to punch you right in the face. There's no chance of getting her straight out of it. It's not that bad. Pepper Jack is too like this, you know, whole, whole, that's the twist. Iris, my mother was supposed to have died four years ago, but I, I got this funny feeling it was something else. You don't think she's dead? No, I think she faked it. I think she put somebody else there as her look like. Oh, really? Yeah. Some real big lady was in the bed. Yeah, I was trying to think, did you see me walking through Rosendale? I don't know what I'm saying now. You never do. Yes, I do. You don't. Know, you talk about the most stupid things. Happen. What happened when I'm I was schizophrenic? Well, you know, so are you, and so but are you. But they said I can't differentiate what's real from not real. Well, she had lived for about 17 years in a trailer with her brother, um, and there's speculation by a lot of people, including myself, that uh, 
there was some sort of inappropriate sexual behavior that occurred um, with the brother. I know my brother really didn't have any, or did he? I don't know, but you know, I can't have a part of that kind of life, you know? Hello? Who's this? So what should I do? Crawl on the egg. Tell him I love him with all my heart. Tell him the Mother Mary loves him. He's really sweet. He's got beautiful blue eyes, you know. They separated me from my brother. They put me at a boarding house. And I often wondered, Elizabeth you know, what, what the story with this trailer was and, and what they were doing in there and... Uh, you know, I mean, I don't come to the point where they are rest. These well, and sleeping things. in one bed. It was them. It was not proper things. He was busted. For uh, they said he he was he was driving while well, a little bit intoxicated. John Pierce is my brother. And I get mad too, like anybody else. I'm only human, part of me, you know. John, I love you, yes, I know. Nobody ever could be quite like you. <laughs> I don't know, I brush my teeth 50 million times a day and I still can't get rid of this flavor of that person. I don't know who it is. I think I deal with it very good. I don't believe it's schizophrenia. I don't believe they diagnosed me correctly. My mother died this afternoon. By the telephone pole, mm -hmm. in between the telephone pole. I didn't expect it. They kept telling us you better get you better get yourself ready. Mm -hmm. What the hell that shit? But I never had somebody this close to me die. Oh. She wasn't ready to go yet. Mm -hmm. When she was ready, she was. Why are you looking? Don't get mad, it was an accident. He started crying. Roy almost broke my leg. I couldn't move it for two minutes. Only time I can take this off is when I'm bathing. I forgot to take I my to right night dose of oh. Seroquel. I think I left it in my compart. It's too late. Be happy your mother's still alive. Mine just died this afternoon. Did your mother criticize you? And tell you that you're no good and you'll never amount to a damn thing? She's dead! 
No, he's still got some minutes. Well, I knew you to call him. He goes, who's winning? Oh, he's winning. Phone cards. Phone cards. Phone cards. So I called David to let him know. And you. But they said you weren't home. Who said you were I wasn't home? Old Jim. Who? because the test is good to me. I walked outside the other day. I tried to dodge the sunlight I rays. I, I stayed. I can't. Yeah. I know I'm going to say that, but you got to really get better. I miss you. You'll be alright. Don't worry. We're pretty in our own little ways, Mom. This life has twists and turns in it, and it's never a straight path. What I have seen happen at the house, you know, is that people who had no face now have a voice and can be seen because there's somebody there who loves them and who cares about them, no matter if they act goofy or they say inappropriate things or if they're mean they're still loved and they're not thrown away and many of these people have been thrown away that's why they're there they've been thrown away by their families and they've been thrown away by people that were supposed to love them and they were beaten by people who were supposed to love them and they were sexually abused by people who were supposed to love them and here they are in a place that says you belong. This is your home. Oh. Oh. Oh.